Now, if you look at the internal anatomy inside the liver, here you can see the functional unit of the liver, which is the lobule, which is the hexagonal shaped lobules. If you look at the lobule properly, you will get what is known as the portal triad. If you look at here, here you can see the hepatic artery coming in, portal vein coming in and bile is draining out through the bile duct and this drains into the central vein. Here you can see the blood going into the hepatic artery, portal vein and the bile is coming out and these are the hepatocytes and these are the sinusoidal cells. Now coming to the hepatic blood flow. The normal hepatic blood flow is about 1 to 1.25 liters per minute which forms about 25 percent of the cardiac output. And the main source of hepatic blood flow is hepatic artery and the portal vein. Liver is having dual supply, one from portal vein, another from the hepatic artery and through hepatic vein finally it drains into the inferior vena cava. Here you can see the portal vein which is formed by the superior mesenteric and the splenic vein and the hepatic artery arises from the celiac artery of abdominal iota and both this artery and vein goes into the liver and finally drains from the hepatic vein into the inferior vena cava. The splenic vein drains portions of stomach, pancreas and the large intestine. The superior mesenteric vein drains mainly from the small intestines as well as large intestines, stomach and pancreas and this goes via portal vein and into the liver. So, entire blood flow from the intestine drains into the liver for metabolism and detoxification. Here you can see the blood going into portal vein and hepatic artery and bile coming out and this is the central vein and this central part is more prone for the ischemic necrosis because it lies far from the hepatic artery. What is so unique about hepatic blood flow? There is something called hepatic arterial buffer response. This is called semi-reciprocal buffer response. Why it is called semi-reciprocal? Here, whenever there is a reduction in portal blood flow, the hepatic artery dilates to maintain the blood flow. Okay? When the portal vein blood, blood flow comes down, the hepatic artery blood flow increases. When the portal vein blood flow increases, the hepatic artery blood flow comes. So, it is a compensation for portal vein. But the same thing cannot happen with hepatic artery blood flow. For example, when the hepatic artery blood flow comes down, the portal vein blood flow does not increase. So, it is called semi-reciprocal. And this hepatic artery buffer response becomes important in the presence of profound hypovolemia, major abdominal surgery or severe hemorrhage. Few anesthetic agents disturb this hepatic artery blood response. Foremost is halothane. However, sevoflurane and isoflurane maintains the hepatic arterial buffer response. Here you can see the portal vein blood flow and the hepatic artery blood flow. Here you can see the portal vein blood flow is almost twice that of the hepatic artery blood flow. Normally, the portal vein brings about 70 percent, 70 percent of the hepatic blood flow and hepatic artery is around 30 percent, one third. Okay, but oxygenation wise, hepatic artery is about 65 percent, portal vein carries only 35 percent of the oxygenation to the liver. In cases where portal vein blood flow increases, hepatic artery automatically constricts and reduces the blood flow. This happens in the case of extended hepatectomy or transplantation where portal hyperperfusion will be there and your hepatic artery automatically constricts and reduces the flow. Imagine a situation where portal vein blood flow is coming down like portal vein thrombosis or something. Here you can see the hepatic artery blood flow increases. This is how hepatic artery adjusts to the portal vein blood flow 
and maintain a normal blood flow to the liver. Here you can see the portal vein and this is the hepatic artery. The portal vein blood flow is almost two and a half times than the hepatic artery. Now imagine a situation where the portal vein flow is compromised due to some thrombosis. Because of this thrombosis, the portal vein blood flow will be reduced. Here you can see the number of aromatic has slowly come down. But look, let us look at what has happened on the hepatic artery side. The flow which was less, now it is increased. But if you look carefully, what has happened is here, this adenosine molecules which was there gets attached to the receptors. These are the adenosine molecule receptor which gets exposed when there is portal vein thrombosis and this molecule, adenosine molecule get attached to the receptors and you can see the hepatic artery gets dilated and increase the blood flow to compensate for the decrease in the portal vein blood flow. This is called the hepatic artery buffer response which is mediated through adenosine molecules.